Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about that where we use the fixed support practically. The fixed support has three main resistance. It can provide the vertical resistance to the upcoming load. It can also provide the horizontal resistance and it can also take the moment. Due to the moment, it is called as the fixed support. While the roll and hinge support can take the horizontal and vertical forces, but this fixed support is the special property that it can also take the moment. So let's consider this any cantilever beam. Cantilever beam has a fixed support, while the other end of the beam has no support. This is the most commonly used example for the fixed support. And let's consider this any load vertically acting on this beam. And this is any horizontal load acting on this beam is P. And this is any uniformly distributed load. So due to th these loads, there will be some reaction produced inside this beam. So as we are only this support, fixed support, so it will resist the vertical load is Ry. This, it will also resist the horizontal load is Rx. And it will due to this vertically loaded uniformly distributed load some movement will be created in this cantilever beam so this will also be taken by this cantilever beam so this due to this fixed beam and due to this fixed support this is this is called m here so due to this fixed support it can also take the moment so fixed support is three different types of the resistance the moment, the Rx and Ry. Now, where we use these fixed support practically, let's consider this is any multi-story building. These horizontal members, these horizontal members are the beams. These are the beams and these vertical members are the columns. And this is any three-story building. So, I want to explain that where we can know about our fixed support and let us consider this joint and I want to draw this here this joint where this is a beam this horizontal and this vertical is a column so if I draw in more detail so this will be the beam and this will be the column so so this beam and this beam, the reinforcement of this beam has been gone through inside the column. Similarly here, the reinforcement of this beam will be here in this column. And also maybe some other reinforcement of this beam will be here inside this column. So due to the reinforcement of the beam inside the column, it will be able to take the moment. So this joint will be called is a fixed joint. This joint will be called is a fixed joint because the reinforcement of the beam went through the column and due to this reason that the reinforcement of the beam went through the column, it will be able to take the moment, to resist the moment. So the main purpose of the fixed support is to take the moment and and the main reason behind the moment is this reinforcement. Due to this reinforcement, this joint is able to take the moment. This is the one example where we can see our fixed support or the fixed joint. The next one is, let's consider this is the beam column joint where vertical members are passed through the horizontal member. So if I draw it here, let's consider this, this is the horizontal beam and the other is the vertical column so and this is in a reinforced concrete structure so now in this case the reinforcement of the column here it will be passed through the beam similarly the beam reinforcement is being passed through the column 
and they are more more closely spaced here and the stirrups and the ties are more closely spaced here at this portion in order to increase the ductility in the frame structure so this will be called as the fixed joint why because the reinforcement of one beam has been passed into the column and similarly the reinforcement of the column has been passed into the beam so due to this reinforcement it will be called as a fixed joint and it will be called as a fixed support so the reinforcement is the main reason for developing the fixed support so due to this reinforcement it will take the moment it will take the vertical load and it will also be able to take the horizontal load hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video